Hi everyone, I am Hiwei Shong from Applied Physics. I am currently at year 2 now. My group mates are No Era Lili Binti Mohamad Hasri and No Atika Binti Abdul Azim. They are also Applied Physics year 2 students. I am here to introduce our group project. For this project, we are required to build a circuit based on the sensor assigned to us. The sensor that assigned to us are the infrared sensor. An infrared sensor is an electronic instrument which is used to sense certain characteristics of its surroundings by either emitting or detecting infrared radiation. Infrared sensors are also capable of measuring the heat being emitted by an object and detecting motion. Infrared waves are not visible to the human eye. In the electromagnetic spectrum, infrared radiation can be found between the visible and microwave regions. The infrared wave typically have wavelengths between 0.75 and 1000 micrometer. The infrared technology has been widely used in many fields, mostly in sensing and remote controls. Infrared sensors are used in remote control systems, motion detectors, product counter, line follower robots, and alarm. After all the discussion and research, we decided to build an infrared obstacle sensor that can be modified to be more functional. Infrared obstacle sensor can be used to sense any obstacle in front of the sensor. So, let's welcome No Era Lili Binti Muhammad Asri to present the next part to us. Hello, I'm Era, Problem Statement. Nowadays, a lot of crimes are happening especially at night. Crime can happen anytime, anywhere, including your house. Hence, some safety measures have to be done to make our house a secure place to live in. The solution is installing the alarms. Alarms can warn you about the presence of criminal suggestive. In this project, we built an infrared obstacle detection circuit to act as an alarm. This circuit will be triggered when there is obstacle in front of the sensor. The component that we use are infrared LED will keep transmitting infrared, photodiode will act as infrared receiver to detect infrared, Resistor 10 kilo ohm and 150 ohm used as current limiting resistor for the LED. IC LM358 is OPEM. In this circuit, we use as a voltage comparator and we use only one comparator here, which is have input at pin 2, AMP3, and output at pin 1. Potential meter 10K used to adjust the transhole voltage. Last but not least, LED and buzzer. Problem first and solution. First problem, overheating. When the circuit is on, IC is too hot. The solution, we use a suitable value of power supply. Second problem, wrong connection. The solution is we double check the circuit and make sure all the connection were correctly done. Third problem, bad component. When we put the buzzer on the circuit, it was not working. The solution, we use digital multimeter to check for the broken component. We replace the broken component with the new one. Last problem, infrared sensor problem due to surrounding. When we tried the circuit at different place, the result was not satisfying. The solution, we tape the photodiode with masking tape except for the upper part. Okay, that's all from me. So let's welcome Atika to explain the next part. Hello everyone, I'm not Atika bin Abdulazim. So I'm going to explain you about technical details. The concept of this circuit is simple. The infrared LED keeps transmitting the infrared rays up to some range. When there is obstacle within the range, the infrared rays hit the obstacle and come back at some angles. The photodiode next to the infrared LED detects the infrared rays which reflected by the obstacle and hence work as proximity sensor. When the incident radiation on the photodiode is high, the voltage drop across the series resistor will be high. The output of the IC op-amp will only be high when the voltage across the resistor series to photodiode is larger than that of the threshold voltage. As the output of the IC is connected to an LED and buzzer, the LED lightens up and the buzzer will sound. So this is our complete circuit. I'm going to show you the component that we use for this project. So this is a buzzer. LED, open, we use ICLM358, potentiometer, by LED, photodiode, resistor, two 
of 150 ohm resistor and 10 kilo ohm resistor. And lastly, the battery socket. First, we connect the infrared LED in fault bias with 150 ohm resistor in series. Next, connect the photodiode in reverse bias with 10 kilo ohm in series. Then, connect the potassium meter to connect the first and last terminal to the power supply and ground. Furthermore, connect the IC LM358 and connect pin 8 to power supply and pin 4 to ground. Then, connect the photodiode and node to pin 3 of open and center terminal of potassium meter to pin 2 of the open. Connect LED to pin 1 of the open which is output pin of LM358. Connect another 150 ohm resistor in series with LED to add as current limiting resistor. And last, connect buzzer in parallel with LED and the circuit is done. I will demonstrate how does it work, whether it's success or not. So I'm going to put the obstacle. So... The LED light on and the buzzer sound. So the photodiode have received the infrared. That's why the LED turn on and as the conclusion, the infrared obstacle sensor is really useful in our daily life. It can be modified to be used as product counter, alarms, and in many other aspects. Through this project, we are able to have better understanding of the infrared sensor. At last, we want to thank Dr. Sharum for the help. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Thank you.